all makes sense now. Why does she want to end up here? You with her kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So, why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. And we missed it. I understand if you want to go home. I bet there are still some corrupt developers out there that can be set free. Some other help people. Maybe helping people is part of why Mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Am I glad to see you? I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Lemire? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? to Midgard, I should warn you. More time has passed than you might realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Baldur, it's become something else. The stuff of omens. Omens? For the coming of winter? Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, Ragnarok. Aye, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. I'm telling you, it's Fimble Winter. I can feel it in my scrote. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow, and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of reason? Guys? Just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winter to end all winters. I can feel it in my screw. Y yeah. We... We heard. So, if you're heading home, try to keep moving, and also... To not die. Or if you're not heading home, same advice.
We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. <laughs> 